Bisu Ahaya, Ashur Ahaya, Bashim Mishaya, Walk the Wall. This is Shabar Israel, and you know, I'm just about sick and tired of doing these videos, but the time is at hand, and the most high is exposing all, including you, Rakar of GOCC. Listen, brother, the most high did not call me just to polish cups or just to let you roll over me. I only kept silent because the gospel had to be spread to the ends of the earth. It's the most high that is guiding me. It's the most high that is speaking through me. What you've done has caught up with you, period. There's no way of getting around it. You have misused the disciple and the prophetess of the most high for your selfish reason. Enough is enough. Brother, you, you, you have been condemned by the most high. Your judgment is at hand, and you're still running your mouth. Listen, do you actually think the Most High was going to send me around the abusers of the house of Israel? Are you boy Zeus, the sorcerer who wanted to extract power for his own means? He wanted to purchase his way into the kingdom. He wanted some of that spiritual power that the Most High has, had blessed them with. And I, for one, will not let anybody leech off the spirit of the Most High. So now that the truth is out, you're feeling some kind of way that somebody is stepping on you to get to be in a position. The Most High has already given me a position. When I say this, it's not out of disrespect. It's the truth. The Most High has an order. Or should I say he has a hierarchy. You cannot belittle or put his messengers or prophets or prophetess on a minuscule scale. That's not going to happen. The Most High has instilled a light in me that is bright as the sun. And you think that he was going to let me just stay quiet? Did he not magnify all his prophets and prophetess? Brother, your own tongue has condemned, condemned you. It's like an open sepulcher, and you don't know how to shut it. Delegating a prophetess of the Most High as just any old body. And as far as you being anointed, brother, if it wasn't for me, you would not be anointed. Remember how many times I have to tell you that I went to the Most High. Because I looked at you and I said, okay, this brother seems like a humble individual that can help bring this gospel to the ends of the earth. And then I got approval. No disrespect to the Most High, His Son of the Spirit. When you say all is anointed, all of the Most High are anointed, but all are not have been called to be prophets or prophetess. And let's not remember the kings of Israel that went off. They were anointed too. The southern and northern kingdom. Jeroboam, Rehoboam, Saul, Eli, his two sons, even Solomon, King David. King David had blood on his hands. Not to mention the woman that was killed along with Eli and many others. So let's get one thing straight. You're not going to relegate me to just a cup shiner or someone that's in the background. Because you know what? I would prefer it that way. But the Most High has not saw fit. So, brother, my life is on the line. My soul is on the line. I'm not going to relegate myself to someone just being behind the curtains so you can feel good about yourself. As far as individuals operating alone, the Bible says that, Yeshaya states that the hour had come and that every man would be scattered. But then he said that he's not alone because the Father is with him. I have the Father with me. It's plenty of time I have been in need of something and I called on the Most High. And he has sent whatever I needed without hesitation. So brother, I'm not alone. Those who have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And for those who refuse to take part 
and the tree of life, and to drink from the fountains of living water. Let them be unjust still. And the bride say, Come, Yeshua, come, thy kingdom come. Amen.